What's up? Good morning. Iron Elite. This is Carl, aka the Average Holy Rider. I'm here with Big Sarge. Getting ready to do my IT into the end. Hey, that's right, y'all. He's up here. Uh, this is, uh, I think I'm going to call this the cold weather edition of IT <laughs> to the end, man. My man chose to, to come out and hang out with us at some of the coldest times that we've had in Jacksonville uh, so far, man. So we got him here today. He's starting off at a 10. He's on Stockton Street. So I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about what he's doing, his get down, and uh, where he plans on being in a couple of days. So, hey, my brother. Hey, happy to have you in Jacksonville. Let's hey, let's go, man. Tell me what you're trying to do. All right, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. So yeah, just so my reason for doing the IT into the end. Well, I met Big Sarge on my 48 state trip. Came out and you know we we just talked. We didn't have a whole lot of time, but told me about it. I'd already seen the social experiment and I wanted to be a part of it. And the reason I'm doing it in December because I want to come back live and in person and get my patch. So I figured it's gonna get colder. Better do it now. I didn't know that this cold streak would be coming through here, but hey, it's been a, it's been a blessing. I had a great ride yesterday, other than some gas issues. Got in last night, um, got up this morning. Big Sarge and I talked last night because I was gonna try to do a three-hour sleep, but he didn't want me to do it, and I'm glad he did. Uh, got me some good, nice rest. Got up this morning, so the, the, the goal today is to head back to Texas, get at least to the continent of Texas, because that's a continent that ain't oh, no so state. Right. So that's 876 right. miles across. <laughs> So I'm gonna get about halfway through it, and then I'm gonna stop, give me a little sleep. I'm gonna get up the next morning, turn and burn. I'm gonna cash, cash it on in to uh, Santa Monica. Um, I, I just love riding. Uh, rides like this give me a peace of mind. But you know, to be a part of this experiment and learning, and each one teach one. I've learned a little bit from different people, and I hope I can pass on a little bit. You know, uh, I ain't no. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a new ground pounder. I, I don't have any certain way of doing things. I get on my bike, I gas it up, and I ride. I got a couple of snacks in here. Got me some weenies. Uh, got my toothbrush, and I got some medicine because I got to take the meds. Oh, yeah. But other than that, I just ride. And I, I love what Sarge is doing, man. Uh, you know, getting us out there and, and riding coast to coast, enjoying your bikes. You know, I know most of us will probably do this stuff in the summertime, but you know, when you ride, you just ride. You ride when you enjoy it. When you stop enjoying it, it ain't fun anymore. So, you know, I tell my wife that all the time. You know, when it stops being fun, I'll stop riding. But right now, this kind of ride is, is, is it just warms me up, and I love it. So, I'm going to hit this road in a few minutes, and then uh, I'll be hollering at y'all later on. Hey, let me ask you real quick, because uh, uh, the way I see you packed up and what you're doing. Of course, I attend to the end is 2,400 miles and some change across, but it's not equal for everybody i know you're coming out of you started out of where houston Houston. You started out of houston, houston texas so so. i came out yesterday so if my math serves me correctly it took you 800 miles or so to start the 10 today yes sir so now you gotta ride those 800 miles back, back. <laughs> <laughs> and i've been out the county <laughs> yeah i had people ask me that i said well i had to start on one coast or the other yeah. I yeah. said and I wanted to start with the organizer. It didn't make sense. I was going to see him one way or the other, but yeah, I would right, right. prefer to see him when I start. <laughs> I said, so that's why I chose uh, Florida. Right. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had people, you got to go back across here. Yeah, got to do that. Yeah. But that's the fun part of it. That's, you know, that's what makes it a unique run. You know, it, it ain't for everybody. No, it ain't. It, it ain't, ain't for the faint of heart. No. You know, no. I ain't trying to set no speed records. That's what's up. I'm setting my cruise at 75, maybe 77. That's what's but up. But just get out there and ride, man, and enjoy it. I know you're tracking us, man, and that's, oh, yes, a, you know, that's a, you know, when you got somebody looking after you, not just to see if you finished the ride, but making sure you're good, you know, you'll text me, you okay, mm -hmm. you okay, you back on the road, mm -hmm. and that, that means the world, man, it, it gives you fire, it gives that's me sure. fire, that's you know, sure. so you're not, you know, it's not like you're just doing this just to be doing it and get your name out there, you're trying to help others along the way, and the more people that see that, the more people will enjoy it, and I've had people even ask me, I got a friend that's buying a bike. Cause he want to do the IT into the end. Oh, ain't, no awesome. ain't no that's lie. Ain't no lie. He buying him a bike cause he want to do the awesome. IT. He been following yeah. me for about yeah. about ten months. That's cool. Follow me on the Very 48 cool. state. But when I started talking about this, on the, he was. He said I ain't doing it in December. So yeah, he a snowboard. Yeah. He a summer guy. Hey, he tell, he, tell him to hang on. I'm getting ready to do. Uh, I'm getting ready to do one uh, the, this spring break. Okay. I'm okay. Ready to go across yeah. So I told him. I said, man, there's a lot of people out there that would yeah. run with you. You know. So yeah, I, I said, you never know. I might roll out. But it's it's so many of them. Oh yeah. But speaking, of, but speaking of bikes, real quick, man, if you don't mind, I want to just you take us around and tell, show us what you're working with. I see, so I baby, see you on ground and you pack right, so I'm gonna let him break it down for us. So this is baby. I got my Sumo Garmin. Just purchased this. All right. Really good go. for tracking. This tracks. So one of the things I really like about it is when I hit track, 
It gives me my current speed, my average speed, my average moving speed, and my max speed times and everything. So that keeps me on point. Cause when you're trying to do a ride time specific, you need to keep your miles per hour at a certain level. So this is one of the That's great things. Happening. Got more so, water. So check this out. Okay, now we're gonna slow this down now. Okay. So this Garmin, okay, if I wanted to get one of these Garmin's for my ride, what, what that, would that be hitting me for? This one was $4.99. Okay. Cool. $4.99. Yeah. It's called the Garmin Zumo XT. It's the okay. latest and the greatest. Okay. Uh, you got an SD card slot in the bag. Okay. You got, this thing does everything. It's got, uh, so if I go to apps, you got all kind of stuff. Like right now, my trip planner, You'll see, I got the IT into oh, the end in there. Sweet, I like that. Yeah, I like so that. Well, today I'm gonna hit Jacksonville, mm -hmm. and then there's all my stopping points. You can put waypoints in there. Sure. Those are all my gas stops. Nice. So nice. go back. So this is day. This is one for the day. So right now we're at 640 Stockton Street. Mm -hmm. This is the coordinates for the Iron Butt, and then I'll be on the road. Oh, that's what's happening. Yeah, so that's that's one of the, I also love a nice it. piece of equipment to have because yeah. I think most of us we. You use our phone. Use our phone. Yeah. So yeah. You know, if something happens with the phone, man. Exactly. We got a paper map. We had a whole lot. You, of you had a lot. You had a look. I, yeah. Matter of fact, I got my paper. I, no, I didn't bring it, but I usually okay. keep one in there. Yeah. You know, I got my phone. Got my okay. GoPro. I am gonna do okay. a little bit of videoing. Okay. I got it set up for a five-minute loop okay. instead of leaving so, it on constantly. Yeah. Five minutes of shooting. Comes five off. minutes of break. Okay. Five minutes of shooting saves the battery and saves my SD card. Okay. Uh, okay. Baby is packed up. I don't. You know, I got. I'm a minimalistic packer. Mm -hmm. Got my clothing, rain gear, toolkit. That's pretty much it on this side. Okay. And then I got a couple of extra sets of gloves, my water tank, my gremlin, keep my head warm. Okay. That's pretty much it. Uh, I don't. What's up? I don't pack a whole lot. Hey, let's, let, let's see the uh, yellow gloves again. Shout out to K Solo. Yes. <laughs> I see you rocking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got hey, you a pair of them too. Yeah, so it's, it's K Solo right shout there, man. Shout out to K Solo. Yeah, shout out to K Solo, okay. man. So yeah, it's uh, you know, that's about mm -hmm. it. So got, what? So what year and uh, what model bike are we rocking? This is a 2020 Street Glide. I bought her a brand spanking new. Mm -hmm. She just ticked over 34,000 miles. That's what's up. I call her baby. She's okay. just my baby. Okay. As you see, I'm a veteran. Yeah, I see. You got so I gotta have my devil dog. Yeah. Gotta, gotta represent that Simple core. Five, shout out. Simple five. Y'all know what time it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah. shout out. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, you know, I got a simple helmet, nothing mm -hmm. major. Got a little uh, HJC mm -hmm. with a Garmin uh, Pack Talk. It was a gift okay. from a coworker, as a matter of fact. Okay. How you like that Pack Pack Talk? It's all right. Uh, battery life is not as good as uh, the uh, yeah, Cena. the Cena, mm -hmm. but it's, it's you know yeah. it was free. Yeah. Uh, I ain't complaining. It's free as me. It's free. Yeah. It's free. So uh -huh. so if I was if I was to take a ride and I was rocking with the pack talk, what am I gonna get? About ten hours, eight hours out of that pack about talk? Eight hours, about eight, eight hours. Eight hours yeah, out of the pack yeah, talk. Yeah. How's it on, on like phone clarity? Is it very okay? clear, very okay. clear, very clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people rock pack talks for the music. The yeah. Of sound that's that's one of the yeah, that, like that's that. another yeah. good thing. Yeah. But I generally have my 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 speakers. Hey, mm -hmm. you know, got some nice speakers. Uh I'm just not one in my ear. Uh -huh. I just you know because with the speakers, I can just turn it down uh -huh. and roll. I don't need to have the volume blasted. No, yeah. um, you need to listen to that motor anyway. Yeah, you got to listen yeah. to the motor, man. Yeah, you know, you got to feel your bike and you got to yeah, hear sure. it. Yeah, so I, sure. I love that part of it. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm I'm excited. So let me so let me ask this, another thing. Is there something else you finish? Or no, 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 go ahead. Okay, just another thing. Say, okay, because obviously, you know, we have people come through, do I-10 to the end of the summertime, the springtime. Whole different packing situation, a whole different preparation separate, uh, situation. But for you, obviously, because you're riding cold, suggestions on what kind of gear should I be wearing? You know, I said I was never going to buy heated gear, and I lied. I did too. <laughs> I said, oh, I don't need heated gear. Yeah. Well, you'll see the plug. This is the hot wire from Cycle Gear, okay. and I actually got it during the off season. Okay. So I got the jacket and the gloves just north of two hundred dollars. Okay. When in season the oh, yeah. jacket alone get, is 200 yeah, so get. i got it i got a great deal i mm -hmm. love it mm -hmm. it's it's hot mm -hmm. you know i keep them both underneath i keep it at a medium setting sometimes low mm -hmm. but the gloves i generally keep them at low i've actually burned my knuckles i see yeah i burned my knuckles yeah. once yeah if you oh, see okay. that i burned the knuckles okay. so i got you know when i left out of houston it was 28 degrees mm -hmm. yesterday morning mm -hmm. so i got on about five layers of gear but i probably won't wear that all day today okay the weather's warming up okay so i probably come out of a couple of layers i gotta mm -hmm. i didn't buy the bottoms mm -hmm. i don't like i don't want to be that tethered mm -hmm. i like to move around 
This ski bib, I got it off of uh, Amazon for 49 bucks. Oh, wow. Okay. And it was, tw like I say, 28 degree weather. I didn't feel nothing. Okay. So I'm good. And I was riding okay. 75 miles an hour. You know, everybody, some people swear by heated gear. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm the average Harley rider. So I'm doing yeah. it the average way. I mean, yeah. I don't, you know, some people say, if you got the money, you spend it well. Mm -hmm. If I can keep the money in my pocketbook, I'm okay with that too. So, you know, yeah. but uh, that's how I ride. Okay. I don't, you know, I ain't trying to tell anybody how, but these things work great. Okay. I can slip my boots on, slip them on with my boots. I just unzip that. I did, I wound up, if you know, if you ride a lot with Harley, they give mm -hmm. you them gift cards. Mm -hmm. But my rain suit was uh, right at $200 that I paid for with my gift cards. All the miles I had to put on my bike. That's what's up. They sent me gift cards. So if you ride, get them gift cards. Get, them gift cards. get your yeah. stuff, register yeah. with the all group so you can get your yeah. gear. I keep yeah. them on I keep them on deck. Oh yeah, I man. Yeah, 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 I keep mine. So I stacked up a couple of them and got me like, some free gear. Okay. Well, hey, hey, man, for everybody that's out there tuning in, we appreciate you guys, man. So, Carl just put us down on basically how you prepare, how's the motorcycle set up, how his uh, navigation system is set up for him. So, he's ready to roll, man. So, he's going to be hitting his 10, as you guys can see. Start up the 10 to the end. So, he's going to be kicking this thing off, man. So, y'all cheering on. Support him, man. Check him out on the page. I'm going to have stuff on the YouTube page on this ride as well. So, Man, in the meantime, in between time, man, we're going to ask y'all, man, hey, peace. Peace out. Keep it motorcycling. All right, dude.